Hi, welcome back. Uh, my name is Yusuf Khan and today I'm going to show you what is responsive website using Bootstrap framework. So what is Bootstrap framework? It's a uh, framework which usually used by a different designers. It has ready-made components and built-in buttons and everything. It saves a lot of time, right? And it makes the designer's life easy. So first I need to show you how to do it, yeah? So, um, what uh, what is Bootstrap? So, if you use Bootstrap, you will design something like this. It's a professional template, right? And it's responsive. So, I'm going to make this video today to just show you how to create a website quickly to using Bootstrap. Yeah. So let's start. So I designed this um, HTML page, bootstrap.html, I created it and I have associated uh, style.css. So we'll have a combination of CSS, style sheet and main HTML page. So first I have to bring a basic structure of HTML. Here it is. Then give a title, bootstrap framework website yeah then the first thing we have to do is writing some code for example meta char meta char set is equals to utf8 Sorry, I start writing in the body tag. It has to be in the header tag. Yeah. Then meta name viewport. I'll explain you what it is and what it does. Content with device with device sorry device width I'm opposite <laughs> right. then comma then initial scale to one and shrink to fit shrink to fit is equal to no and then close attack so what it does it actually initialize the viewport like it's responsive web page so you have to show the content uh, responsively right the content property shows width device width so it's automatically sends the width of the page then initial scale is equal to one which is about um, like a font or picture it should be zoom in so the if it is not responsive sometimes you have to zoom in the font to read the font and everything so automatically scale which you can read the page I can show you for example this template yeah it's so if I minimize it still you can read it you don't have to zoom in yeah so I'm going to make a same page and show you how to construct it first we need to go bootstrap website so where you can find the bootstrap yeah and I'm going to use bootstrap version 4 which is the latest version so getbootstrap.com is a official website of bootstrap yeah and then once you uh, comes on um, um, home page you just click on get started now we have to include some uh, style sheets right and some JavaScript code so we don't have to write down anything it will be external what you can do just copy the external links and you just include it so what do you do Oops. 
here it is so it says here bootstrap 4 right then after that you have to go and this Java query or uh, Cloudflare and Bootstrap uh, content delivery networks which um, files you have to copy but this time you're copied you don't have to put in the hat you have to put into the end of the body tag just before right it's a new way do before that we used to put all files in the head tag of a uh, bootstrap version 3 or 3.37 but now on bootstrap 4 you need to put these files just before the body tag ending yeah so now you have done it now let's open this page here it is yeah so you can see in the title bootstrap framework it's nothing on right now so what we have to do we have to start with things now as we are on the uh, bootstrap website you can see that there are a lot of things so as i told you it's ready made contents and components there so what you do is simply uh, just access the class and copy paste the code and it will be easier the first thing I will do, you will find the forms, you find the card buttons, nav bar, pagination, and tables and everything. Yeah. So what I do, I'm just taking a nav bar. Now go for the nav bar. Uh, if you are looking for this one, yeah, and I just copy it. You can take any of them. If you just browse, you'll find the number of it. But I just took this one and I will uh, give a style and everything to it so after body the first thing will come is the nav bar and on the top of the nav bar light VG color I'm just changing it to danger it's some of the ready-made properties of the bootstrap so if you see So if you see it's came up here yeah? and now let's see if I can style the uh, the font color uh, let's see if it works yeah no. Okay, now over here, I write down the title. Usually, you can put the logo over here, name brand. So, if it's talking about the brand, so for this brand, you need to see what you have to do. Right. So, whether you can put your logo or you can write down, I'm just writing down right now. Yeah. So, I write down YK Web Solutions. Yeah, Control S and here it is yeah and if you see it's it turned into a hamburger menu so it's nice dropping down and the search button is responsive yeah it's hoovering and if you click it back it goes it's nice smooth scrolling yeah now I just gonna try to give a little bit style if I can. let me see what I can do here see so what I did just nap bar instead of light I just turn into dark so when you turn into dark your font color automatically goes white yeah it looks nice and clean now 
Now, next thing is we are going to do a jumbotron. Jumbotron is a class of uh, uh, bootstrap, which usually we design or use for cover page. Yeah. So the cover page is like a full page thing. If you go to this website, see it's a whole cover. So it's responsive as well. You can turn into responsive. It's a cover page. It's only used for cover, designing covers for the website. So let's start how to do it. Right, jumbo. Oops, hang on. Um, right now, after nav bar, we go for dev class is equal to jumbotron. Jumbotron, yeah, and we and this div make sure you do indication so you have, because there are multiple nested div if we are using inside so if you do proper indication so you should know which div is in which div right otherwise if you miss any div you will be confused and for a lot of mess you will create on your website so the first thing is jumbotron and if i put an image inside for example i want to show you how does it work so I have an image called the same image which I've shown you that website. Yeah, it has BG BG JPEG. So I go BG dot JPEG. Yeah, I include it. So see. It came up, but it's not responsive. It's not fit in the screen. It's out of the layout here. Yeah? And if you minimize it, it's not working at all. Why? Even I'm used the I'm using a jumbotron class because it doesn't come like this. To set the cover, we need to go to CSS. So we just change it here, and we need to define the CSS in the style sheet. First, we go for HTML and body and we will set height and width 100% because we are making a cover yeah so this and then width this 100% now we will go to jumbotron dot jumbotron in the jumbotron we have to write um series of the code to initialize it yes yeah? so first i need to set up the background so the background back and then url and you give url bg dot uh, bg dot jpeg yeah and outside the parenthesis then you have to write down no repeat no repeat center Control S. Sorry, not Control S. It should be center fixed. And there will be another center. Then we go to WebKit. Usually I do copy paste it, but I'm doing especially for you. So
bracket dash background is there a background size yep background size cover and we go to mouse background size okay write down that okay background size cover then we go to dash And then we go to background size cover. Then we go to background position here center. And again height and width hundred percent. right now let's refresh it it's pt pg jpeg let me see Let's try this. Jetpack. Is Jumbotron capital or small? And if we go to there, Dev Clouds, this. Let me see. It's BJ BG BG G back. Beat center. Just hang on. Right. Uh, let me see. Did I put link release style sheet? Yes, I did not put. I think. Yeah, there's no style sheet has been defined. So let me do it quickly. Uh, 
just hold on auto minimize it Right, so what we do, we do link release. Link rel is equals to um, style sheet and oops, hatch reference style dot CSS. Right, now I hope it will work now. Yes, so if you see this, yeah, they all are coming up. And if you minimize it, it comes like this. So we have to set the picture on the cover right through the style sheet. Yeah, so it happens sometimes you forget to include a style sheet and you're just thinking what's wrong with it. So now I'm going to write down something on it and bring some buttons. So the first thing I go to the H1 and define my H1 there in my style sheet. Font color, sorry, color. I have a nice website from where I choose colors. Yeah, but for this one I'm choosing the white first. Yeah, I'll show you later on. And we just go there, go down, and start writing in Jumbotron H1. I write down bootstrap. Oops. Website. Yeah. And then you give class. There are a bootstrap classes where we show the font in different way. I'm using display three. And in display three we put dash. Yeah. And then refresh it. See, another thing is why it's not coming up white. Did I press and text align center? I'll see it again, but it's still. What we can do if we just give this into the inline style sheet because we don't have time to otherwise the video will take longer so what I do over here style Style color white and text align center and also I need to bring it down so margin top 250 pixels let's see See, now it's working, yeah. And if we just do this, 
it comes like this. I change a little bit from 250 to 200 pixels. Yeah, that looks nice. Or 200, 150. Yes. Now it looks nice. Yeah. Now, what's there on the website? It's a horizontal line. Yeah. Oops. So, what we do. We just go after the heading, use HR, horizontal run, bro. And we just made a custom built class gray. Yeah, now in the style sheet, I will show you, just delete this, yeah. Dot gray. This is not a um, uh, bootstrap class, it's my own class which I named gray. I three pixel. And So to increase this, let's see if I can increase it. That's a style, yeah, which is quite similar to this. I just extended my horizontal row. After that, I will write down a paragraph. This paragraph will be style, color, could be white. Text align center and font size twenty pixels. On save. And then in responsive layout, we just put a little bit. EM. And it goes like this. So this is the magic of Jumbotron. If you want to design your cover, the cover will be put like this, yeah? Then I will break the button. Now for the button, if you go here and you start looking for components on the Bootstrap website, you'll find different buttons. So it's like 
primary, secondary, success, danger, warning, this kind of button are available. So what I'm looking for, I just take um, primary or secondary. I just take secondary one here. And within this div, I just put this. And uh, meanwhile, I can give name to different links as well. For example, about us. Services. And here, contact us. Yeah. And if you see, it's a name link disabled. If you just remove it, yeah. And write down templates. Hoover. This is the active link, so home page. It's over. Where did I write down? Oh, I write down in there. So what I do. I can do it here. Services, then I can write down here web design, SEO, WordPress, and web development. Right, so if you go refresh page, home, about us, web design, SEO, web development, and templates. Yeah, so whole me menu bar is out, but my button just went on the left, so I just fix it quickly. Text align, oh sorry, text center. So everything inside the jumble will come in the center because I gave. Um, um, the, the class uh, text center actually right so it's done it's responsive as well you can see everything is there and within that you'll find this as well in the services bottom it's a drop down list and it's so clean yeah if you click back to the hamburger menu it just lights up it's very clean so the next thing is um, bringing the contents right now the content in web bootstrap how it works it works in the row and columns so in the row and columns you have to design the columns in the rows so the content automatically adjust in their relevant um, um, co columns now i'll show you how how we do this right first we make a div class container so everything will come in the container Oops. And we have to end that container here so we know where the divs are working. Yeah, then we will make our div class raw. And then we end it. Oops. Then we will end it then inside the row we will define the columns right so my first example will be on the full column actually the uh, this screen if you see this screen consists of in bootstrap or any other framework is 12 grids is actually 12 parts of or 12 columns you can say so i have to define my uh, page in uh, different columns or uh, it depends what you are looking for my first example will be a uh, full screen so what i do i just make a div 
inside the raw div class is equals to column md 12 so there's a full screen yeah and I close it yeah and I write down here on h3 yk web solutions right and we just give a style color now I was talking about the color website so usually I go to flat user interface colors it has very nice colors so whatever you like you can take it so what I do I just simply take midnight blue I just copied it and goes in my thing and just do this yeah and control save and open my page Boom. YK Web Solutions. Yeah. Instead of that, what we can do um, we can make this column style is equals to background color. And we can give a color such as sunflower. Yeah, a little bit colorful if you like funky colors or something. And just give this. Right. And just go on. So you can see. It's there. And over here text align center so it will come here see so if you see it's coming like this responsive now this is a little bit area now you want to extend it just keep writing and it will expand automatically so what I do for example if I have any thing for example I have Lauren yeah so we can put our dummy text lorem so p paragraph right and just here and then we will design a little bit now oh, this color and you can take any color if you like you can take this color um, you can take this color in writing here and after that text align center See, it's coming. You can see, or you can do text lines instead of text lines, and you do justify. Yeah. So this was an example of uh, uh, of twelve columns, full screen, right area now I am going to divide into three equal columns yeah so after where your column tag is finished yeah and your row tag is finished I'm starting another row within the container so what we do dev class is equals to row oops and and it then inside the row 
I'm starting div class is equal to column md now this time I need three columns so and there are 12 grids so what shall I do I will divide each column into four so four parts three column equals to 12 yeah and inside I just um, give heading like a h2 h2 HTML now if I copy paste this thing I have to copy paste this for three to two times more so that will make my life easy yeah so in HTML over here I write down CSS and third one is JavaScript So if we go and oops what I did I refreshed the wrong page so you can see HTML CSS JavaScript now if you see this I divided the three column you can see that this is on the HTML this is CSS and this is JavaScript if I define them right I can define them there in my style sheet text align center yeah that's already this now refresh it it comes in the center right and if you check it it's responsive now I tell you a tip if you want to check whether it's responsive or not, make sure your horizontal scroll bar doesn't come. If your horizontal scroll bar is coming, it means um, your website is not responsive. Look, I can't move because it's so fit inside the screen, yeah? And it's zoom up, zoomed in. And when you move it, it goes like this. For example, I can show you how it's working. That's how it's working. See, it's it's changing automatically. Yeah, adjusting itself without any other help. It's so this is kind of intelligence within this page. Yeah. Then after that, I put in all three. I put paragraph dummy text. Yeah. And then after that, I just copy paste it. And put in another column then put it in another column right see it's all right here yeah? it's the all three columns are in their respective uh, uh, text are there right and it's within their uh, uh, relevant columns now the third example I'll show you a picture and a paragraph so this time this is the last example so it's up to you how, how, how you can configure you can make two you can split your screen in half like two each uh, columns so if it has 12 grids six each so you can say column md six six or you can make four and uh, eight or you can make ten and two it depends on you what you're looking for so my third example is div class is equals to raw and I close it then div column md 8 I forgot to give a class yeah and then close it 
Let's do indication so you know what's happening and then I copy paste it again. If it is 8, how much I should have? 4. That's it. Yeah. Now, um, for example, this one I should make a little bit nicer, yeah? So I go to my website, MyK Web Solutions, and just try to take a paragraph or headings and all these things, yeah? Yeah, what I do, I just take this. Just copy this paragraph here and what I do first I give heading H1 here then SEO by YK web solutions right and then I give a paragraph P P yeah. Over here I give a style as it goes to Yep. We go back to the website here. So I can go flat close. So this time I take I take pomegranate. Yeah. Add this, then text align center. This one I should go um, style background color. I'm changing the background color here. So, for example, if you take this, or you can take a um, uh, pumpkin, for example, and you put this color, then you put font color white, right, text align, justify. And in this column, what you will do, you will bring the image, image, source, let me see what's the name of the image, ykjpg, yeah, yk.jpg, and here it is, have a look. Now it's out, you can see why we need to find out. So what I do, I give style width see this to split up I can draw a horizontal yeah and we can do it now and person let's see how does it come see so you have to design define the width otherwise it will go up so this one 
this section is eight columns right so take that space and the picture it took and even you can't identify it if i remove the background color it will be so emerged like this css html javascript so you it's up to you how, how you can define yeah and and if you see this is responsive as well So it's coming up a little bit. This. So what I can do is why it's coming this. I can go for display form. No, it's all right. So it was a little bit out because of the content size. Now it's absolutely fine. As soon as I defined it, it was fine. So that's how it looks. If you see, your navigation is here. You scroll down, and you're reading. Right. Now the last part will be the footer. So the footer will be the real footer tag. And the footer tag, if we give a style. Center and inside, if I say copy and YK Web Solutions. YK web solutions. If you want to give a color to it, you can give a color as well, which will be I can give a black, uh, black color. Background color. Uh, oops. What color I gave here? We can take this color to the background color and we make it white. Now, after we can give a space, right. Yeah. Oh, not here. Okay. Oops. I was doing an email. So, what we do. Visit us HTTPS YK Web Solutions. 
Now let's see how it comes. Right. Now you have two choices. It's coming like this here. Yeah. The whole website is created. My idea of this video was if you have very less time, you want to design a website very quickly. I think Bootstrap framework will be very good. Yeah. And uh, you can design uh, as quickly as can. It's very simple and also it can be used on single page application or multiple page application. It's up to you. Right. So that will be all folks. Uh, I hope you enjoy my video. If you like it, please click on like and also subscribe to my page because it motivates me to, um, to create more videos for you. So hopefully see you, speak to you um, next week with new video. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.